The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jonathan Greenert, testified before the U.S. House Appropriations Committee February 26 on the effects of continuing resolution and the potential sequestration on military readiness. We will reduce presence in the Central Command by a couple, one carrier right now and a couple of destroyers. We will reduce uh, in the Southern Command to the point we won't have any ships in there at the, at the end of this year. That's tons of drugs that we interdicted last year that I guess we won't be a part of this year. African Command, we won't have two amphibs and a couple of uh, frigates down there. Well, that's terrorism and pirates, as you mentioned before. Uh, similar story in the European Command. Greenard also told the committee how the effects of the continuing resolution and sequestration will cost the Navy money in the future in the way of ship and gear maintenance. Okay, what's next? Oh, uh, ships due for maintenance. Well, do we send her in and commit the money or do we hold the money? Oh, we're going to have to hold the money. Lost opportunity. So uh, we've lost $600 million in opportunity, that is real readiness, because of decisions in February to slow the burn rate. It'll be another 1.2 in March. If, if we don't have a bill, uh, a relief from sequestration, or the ability to move money. Sequestration will take effect March 1st if a budget is not passed beforehand. Service members' pay and medical benefits will not be affected by sequestration, but government civilian employees face furloughs of up to 22 days this fiscal year. Commissary and Child Development Center hours could be affected as well. For the most recent updates on sequestration and continuing resolution, visit Navy.mil. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Ashley Hedrick.